Welcome fellow treasure hunters. We are in a more affluent area of the region I live in and I'm going into this Goodwill to see if I can find higher profit items to list in my eBay store. On top of this, it is 50% off anything with a black color tag today. Uh, coming into the warmer weather, I want to learn shorts to sell my eBay store. I recently heard a YouTuber's program that he picks up Jerry branded shorts and does well with them. This brings us to today's topic because I put the shorts in my cart and I listed them in my eBay store. All to find out that the shorts are Costco brand, mass produced, and have a 20% sell through rate. And when they're when you sort by all of them, and if you sort by new condition, they're 30% sell through rate. That is not what I want to be putting in my eBay store for success. Just because a reseller reselling YouTuber says in a video to do something or that they do this thing all the time does not mean you should be blindly follow their advice. Trust but verify. eBay has to be the greatest tool in the resale game because you can research very specifically for your product and get the sell through rate by a few clicks while you're in the store. The only limiting factor is time. Now I get that as time is my least available thing right since I have a full time 9 to 5 job, I work out in the mornings, I resell and I make YouTube content. So when I'm sourcing I may decide to take risks to put something up uh, in my cart uh, as research and find out later if it was a bad decision or not. But on this channel you'll at least hear me tell you that I made a bad decision and I won't do it again. Trial and error method is my favorite method over upfront research. The beauty of you watching at home and listening to my YouTube video is you can reality check anything I'm saying during the show. Simply pause the show and check my statement. Check the Jerry's men's shorts and look at their sell through rate on eBay. Also, after you check the overall, click the new uh, item only and do the same math and get around a 28% uh, where I rounded up to 30% for ease of conversation. I pride myself in always having integrity and being transparent with everyone I know. You will get the same version of me no matter where I am showing up. Sometimes I am more reserved as it is appropriate for the situation. With all that said, there will be statements I make today about reselling that I'm sure I will find out later. I was completely wrong and misguided on it and I was it was one of my blind spots at the time. Feel free to use the comments if you see one of those areas for me as my goal with this channel is to share the part-time reselling experience and to show how much it takes to make some decent side hustle money on top of having a full-time job. If you're interested in reselling for the first time or improving as a reseller, I want you to feel like this is a channel you can come to and learn from topical discussions, actual hunting, actual sales data, etc. The help you the help should help you increase your profit margin per item, expand your sourcing opportunities, and increase your sell through. We are all just having a human experience and part of that is being wrong at times. I won't di uh, disown the channel that said Jerry Shorts were a regular pickup for them, but I will verify more of their statements until I feel the content will help me. If I find out the content is overall more detrimental to my growth, then I will likely seek to find another channel. Uh, for almost two years now, I've learned off of other YouTubers primarily. After time, I learned through experience that they know what they are really talking about or they were just grabbing attention just enough to get me to join their exclusive group to sell me more things that I didn't need or I could have looked up on YouTube or on the internet. Now I do believe there are groups that you pay into that provide a one stop shop of everything you would likely need to know to become the ultimate reseller. And even in those, uh, the leaders of those groups share on YouTube that you'd be amazed how they say the same thing over and over for keys to success and their members just don't follow it or get it. So over time I may get repetitious but I will also try and change how I am saying or showing the same information in another way so you may understand the content in a way that you finally get it. A little bit about me, I have a master's degree in environmental engineering and you'd be amazed at how many things in life I just don't get right away. I had to earn every bit of my degrees and reread and take notes four times on the same subject before the knowledge started to set in my, into my brain. Book smarts also don't translate into common sense or communication skills. I'm very aware that many of our most brilliant minds need their mom to feed them at times and they are socially mature as a 12 year old. You ask them a question and they just get frustrated at how you don't even get the simplest of tasks. We all think and respond differently. That's what makes us great. You have your own areas you are great at and specialize in and that will help you in the reselling game. While we grow, don't compare yourself against those perceived 
as very successful, but compare yourself to where you were when you started and at each milestone in your journey. What your progress should look like is an increased understanding of reselling and increased profit per year over time. Switching gears, let's learn about the Western t-shirt pocket types. This is a single point pocket on that Western t-shirt, the first one. On this one, the second one, we have what's called a sawtooth pocket where you got the two uh, saw teeth coming down. Um, there's a third shirt coming up here. This is going to be over on the right. It's going to be considered the slanted pocket type. And then we have one more Western shirt pocket type that's not represented in what I'm finding today. And it's called the smile pocket that you can kind of see in a small picture of a shirt I recently sold uh, from eBay. But keep looking out for those uh, better looking embroidered type Western shirts and look them up. Recently, I've also been trying to pick up some of the military equipment, uh, not knowing. I got that pin ink uh, stain out on this shirt, um, but it was $4.99. I probably shouldn't have bought it. I didn't look it up. I got it home. Those things are going new, $19.99. Um, there's nothing special about the Navy shirt. But at the end of this video, I will share a what sold of the best military item uh, that I've sold to date. If you're looking uh, for some military items that do sell well. All right, this next shirt that I found is a RJC uh, vintage Hawaiian shirt. You can tell it's vintage just by the tag type, uh, those paper tags. I listed it for $34.99. This is, does not have a high sell through rate. It's the only second RJC uh, shirt I've found uh, since I've been sourcing Hawaiian shirts. Both have not sold. Um, but I will tell you when you look in this, uh, hibiscus print seems to be the ones that garner the more money for RJC Hawaiian shirts. So if you can find them and find hibiscus print, you're probably looking at a little bit more of a faster sell through, um, where I'm looking at maybe like a 20 to 30% sell through. You're probably saying, why Sean, are you against the Jerry shorts in the beginning and had a 20 to 30% sell through and not the RJC, a uh, Hawaiian shirt sell through. I want to start by saying I have a full-time job, so I don't need the money. Uh, this is side money. Um, I like Hawaiian shirts, especially vintage Hawaiian shirts. I'll sit on them. But it's also, it garners more money for the item. It has twice the amount of profit for the same buy cost. Um, and those Jerry shorts, I don't want to hold on to them forever to make two bucks, but I might hold on to them forever to make 20 bucks, if that makes sense to you. I also found this uh, Ralph Lauren shirt uh, with the blue pony on it. Um, I listed it for $19.99. These are more common, but they're still desirable. The sell-through rate's not the greatest, but I think they do turn over just a bit faster as long as you keep the price down. My next find is this uh, Tommy Hilfiger uh, kind of vintage uh, flag print logo shirt. Uh, this has not got a lot of date on it, but there's not very many out there. So I believe I can get $24.99. And I think those are the kind of uh, loud prints that people are looking for that make a statement. I've been trying to be more diligent about looking at ties to find that uh, great tie that sells for a lot more money. Um, this one was $3.99, silk tie, Giorgio Armani. But look at the condition on this tie. The amount of stitching, stains, um, just ugliness. So I could have got this for $3.99. The bottom end, it probably sells for like $15.99. But these things can go upwards of $50 to $100, depending on the print, rarity, um, all of that. Um, but don't get so caught up in something that looks really good, uh, that's a, got a name to it. If its quality is bad, leave it behind. Keep your money Get on to the next one because somebody who wants a very fine, uh, rare tie wants a mint condition, fine, rare tie. It's not like they can sew it and it's back to looking brand new. That thing was not coming back um, and you're better off leaving it behind. You may also be asking, Sean, you're looking at ties and you're not even looking them up. Uh, there was a Christian Dior tie, this uh, Antiche, whatever French uh, tie. Um, look them up on eBay, look at the sell through, look at what they're going for in when you click sold completes. Um, we're in the 10 to $15 range and the sell throughs kind of tanked. If 
Christian Dior became a very popular brand. You have to find the kind of rare limited edition uh, Dior to find some value. I'm in the very experimental side of uh, buying polo uh, by Ralph Lauren stuff, um, but I'm having fun uh, trying to see what sells and what doesn't. Um, one of the people that sells it a lot that I watch is Surfs Up Resells. Shout out to him. Um, so I'm trying to get better at uh, sourcing and selling these. Um, and so this one went into the store, $8.99, sell through $22.99. Probably the high end I'm willing to pay. Oh, and look, we're always looking for this Western Rodeo Wear Cinch shirt all over geometric print. Um, it's a nice shirt, $26.99. I found three or four of these now. I have not sold one of them, but I list them high. So they sell really good between $17 and $19.99, but they do sell higher than that. So I'm kind of waiting to get more. Oh, and look, it's not my video without a Dixon flannel, and we found it in the store. This one is a women's. It's selling for $64.99. The men's is selling for $150 to $200 because they are limited edition. And then I find this Western Wrangler uh, shirt, right? The point... Uh, Single pocket there. This is looking good. It's flannel material. Um, we're getting late in the season as far as flannel goes, but it's still looking good. Listed it for $24.99. We're hoping that turns over. Um, it's not looking like it'll turn over in 90 days. The sell through is probably more like six months. Um, but I do think that people are looking for those right now. And if you watch my leggings video, look for that three stripe Adidas. Um, they do go for some decent money, $21.99. I think I can get on this pair. And then I find this like really cool looking pair of jogger sweatpants. And would you believe the brand? Guess what it is? South Pole men's uh, brand. Y2K, 90s. Um, you could probably put hip hop on there as far as keywords go. Always looking for stuff like this. Um, there's hardly any research or data to, and let me show you some what solds. I brought this bass brass boot back in the thrift store at probably for like $9.99. I think I can get $30. I got $20 and got it off my books. I pick up VHS, especially Ferris Bueller's Day Off, just to get to collectors. I found this art glass paperweight. I think I paid three or four bucks for it at Goodwill. Sold it for $18. Um, I had boxes of uh, records I bought. I $5 is about the cheapest. I'll sell one. Um, I had it listed for hire. Took an offer. My top military clothing is these Air Force coverall flight suits. They were super long, sold for 50 bucks, sold in 30 days. And if you watch one of my recent uh, swap meet videos, I got this YNT Rock and Rock We Trust CD, listed it uh, for higher, I think like $15, sold it for 10. So now let's talk about what I'm gonna make from this uh, thrift run, because that's all the stuff I found. I think I'm after what I'm going to potentially get on eBay sell price is about $301.89. We're going to subtract 30% eBay fees. Um, we're going to subtract our buy cost for the materials today. So we're left over with a potential profit of $133.43. I did that in about an hour and a half. Um, so we made $89 per hour at this thrift run. So this is a better area. We did drive 30 minutes up to this area and 30 minutes back, but I'm not counting that full hour against this one store because I went to four stores while I'm up here. So you'll see three or four videos from this area, um, this being one of the better ones. I also got that G4 that you saw last video. Um, so this was a really good run to have an hour commute time uh, to make some good money. And until next time, keep researching, keep grinding, have fun, and most importantly, be kind.